Mark out the location of the wall by checking the design drawings or by agreement with the project engineer, architect or client. Excavate the trench for the foundation. Install the foundation material and fully compact using a plate compactor to ensure a level base. The typical depth of the foundation should be 200mm after compaction. To ensure a level base course, remove the nib from the base of the block to be used on the base course using a bolster and club hammer. Place the blocks onto the foundation and use a string line along the back of the blocks to check for alignment. Leave a gap of 2mm between the blocks to allow for any movement of the ground. Lay a perforated drainage pipe. The pipe should connect to a suitable outlet or soak away. Fill the gap in front of the base course with on-site soil and completely fill the two voids in each block and the drainage column behind the blocks with 10mm single size drainage aggregate. Fully compact the soil in front of the base course. Use a spirit level to ensure the blocks are level as you build each course. Brush the top surface of the blocks to remove any debris. Place the specified strength of geogrid on top of the base course block ensuring that it is 25mm back from the front edge of the blocks. Roll the geogrid out flat over the drainage aggregate and backfill material and pull it taut to remove any folds and wrinkles. Cut the geogrid to the specified length. Place the blocks on top of the base course and geogrid. Push the blocks forward until the nib on the base of the block tightly locates against the blocks and the geogrid beneath, ensuring that they are in a running bond pattern in relation to the blocks on the base course. Vertical joints should not directly line up between courses. Use a spirit level to ensure the blocks are level as you build each course. Place the backfill material on the geogrid and spread it out in the reinforced zone away from the 300mm drainage column. Fill the voids in each block with 10mm single size drainage aggregate. The backfill material should be placed and compacted in 200mm lifts using a plate compactor working away from the edge of the drainage column. Brush the top surface of the blocks to remove any debris which may affect the wall level prior to laying subsequent layers. Build the wall up a further three courses or to the specified course where the next layer of geogrid is to be installed. Never build any higher than three courses before backfilling. Continue to brush the top surface of the blocks to remove any debris which may affect the wall level. Install the geogrid at the correct locations as specified in the height specific design drawings. Continue building the wall, filling the block voids, backfilling with drainage aggregate, backfill material and compacting. Install the geogrid at the correct locations as specified in the height specific design drawings. Top off the area behind the wall with soil. To install the Secura copings, use a concrete exterior grade construction adhesive applied with a cartridge gun. Generously apply the adhesive to the block. For full installation details and material specifications, please download our Secura technical guide.